Uh, I'm Andrew Freeman, cardiologist at National Jewish Health in Denver. I'm the director of cardiovascular prevention and wellness there. And for the college, I co-chair the uh, ACC's Nutrition and Lifestyle Work Group and sit on the Prevention Council Steering uh, Committee. So I'm very excited this ACC because there uh, is the first time we're getting all of the primary prevention guidelines in one cohesive document, which really teaches all of the clinicians how to put all these things together in everyday practice, be it lipids or lifestyle or diabetes or high blood pressure. We can see now how they're all interrelated and how powerful they are to prevent cardiovascular disease. One of the major overarching themes in the new guidelines is really all about the magical power, if you will, of lifestyle. Most people really underestimate, but a really healthy diet, regular exercise, avoidance of stress, sleeping well, etc., are all very powerful ways to reduce the burden of cardiovascular disease or even prevent it altogether. And the guidelines that are coming out uh, this meeting are really emphasizing just how important this is. And I would encourage us as clinicians where we don't have a lot of training in this regard to spend some time getting brushed up. It's a very powerful way to stay ahead of the curve and also to keep your patients well, which is why we went into this business to begin with. One of the most powerful messages we get from the guidelines is combining the best of standard Western medicine and pharmacology that's now widely available combined with the best of lifestyle medicine, including a predominantly plant-based diet and whatever flavor that you like to do, but also all the other lifestyle components, including exercise. And we combine those lifestyle components with standard Western medicine and pharmacotherapy, we can really do a lot to reduce cardiovascular disease. So I encourage you all to take a look at the latest release and really get brushed up because it's important for the future of our patients.